But one of my goals today is just to uh, take some photographs, obviously. Um, but I'm looking to represent a lovely summer's day on the English countryside. Obviously using this uh, heather as my uh, focus today. And I'm just going to relax and because uh, I'm not under any time constraints. I'm going to see if, uh, how many beautiful compositions I can get uh, during the day. So I think I'm going to be at a couple of locations. And uh, I just want to get the quintessential English countryside shot with this beautiful heather at this uh, beautiful part of the British Isles, the Derbyshire Peak District. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my focus on today. So I've set up my composition, um, run you through it, I'm using this, this is a foreground rock here, this one here, and this one right at the edge here, uh, to try and point you into the direction of the horizon. And the rock that's there is to stop your, your eyes going out of, out of the scene on the left hand side as a stopper. And the one that's more or less on the horizon is to stop you going out of the right hand side. And I like the middle, the middle rock here uh, gives interest as well. I think that really helps. And obviously the heather uh, in the scene works well as well. I've got a circular polarizer on and uh, I've got a, a 0.3 uh, graduated filter just to uh, hold the sky a bit. Some nice, some nice um, light coming across the centre of the image so I'm going to take this shot now uh, while the light's good so that's my first shot I thought it was a quite a compelling uh, image that one Really love the foreground rocks here, really stunning. And the heather and that uh, that sky and the, the background there in the valley is absolutely beautiful. Really beautiful. Really enjoyed that. It took some setting up <laughs> as I was wandering around a lot, but sometimes you've got to do that for your compositions just to get the right angles and the right shot. And I think uh, I think that's a nice little image that to start with. So onwards and upwards. Do you know one of the greatest things about this uh, game, photography? It doesn't have to transport you to another world. It makes you forget about all the things in your work life and everything else. It really has uh, made a difference to my life, this photography lack. And it takes you to the most wonderful locations in the UK. And it's something that I'll be doing for the rest of my life. And when I retire, I can be doing it every day of my life. So we've just sat down for a bit of a rest, been walking around for about an hour now uh, on Higator. So I'm going to uh, move from this location now. And then I'm going to a place called Stanage Edge, which is just over in the distance there where the cars are. 
Um, I'm gonna have a bit of lunch and a coffee, and uh, we'll drop we'll drop over to Stanage Edge see if we can get some more beautiful compositions with this with this heather. So I'm gonna see you over there and a couple of tips. That's uh, lunch and coffee negotiated. I'm making my way up to uh, Stanage Edge now. And it's uh, just the ridge there at the back of me. It'll probably take me about half an hour because of, uh, because of Lottie, <laughs> my 14 year old at Westie. So yeah, it's going to be a quite a long journey. But I'll see you when I get up there. I hope you can hear me okay. It's very windy up here. I need to get a, a lapel mic. Uh, I noticed on my other videos, uh, especially when I turn my head like that. So I've got this composition here. I've been looking around for quite a while, and uh, this uh, the heather on uh, this side of Stanage Edge ain't great. It's a bit sparse compared to Higgerton. Uh, so I've got this uh, little composition uh, behind me here. You can see that, but I'll put it on the screen anyway. With the shot I'm taking. Uh, I'm using these uh, rocks again as uh, pointing out to the uh, horizon there to send you into the image. And there's a, another rock in the centre uh, to add uh, some detail to the composition. There's a little bit of heather at the front that uh, is not blooming great. And of course, the light is above me more or less now. And, that's probably uh, not helping. Uh, so I'm, I am going to take this shot, and uh, I don't know. You see what you think. Right, got a sneaky little shot here, We're just passing by this uh, area. And, uh, there's quite a lot of mid-ground in this, but, but uh, I just like the, the separation between the, the three rocks. Um, the centre rock in the, the foreground, the left-hand side and the right-hand side rocks. They are quite wide apart, but I still think it works with this sort of composition and the, uh, the horizon right, right, right onto the edge there. Um, I think it works. <laughs> I might be clutching at straws today, uh, but th there is a lot of mid ground there compared to the horizon, uh, the far horizon, and the foreground. So uh, yeah, plenty of uh, lovely um, heather in it. I've got a polarizer on it, and I've stuck a 0.6 uh, ND grad in it as well, just to keep this sky in check because there's a lot of contrast within this scene. Uh, yeah, I think this works okay. Hi folks, this is my last image of the day. I'm in portrait mode and I've got my circular polarizer on it and a 0.6 ND, ND grad in it. Um, at f11, 500 of the second at uh, 28 mil. And the particularly like about this image is this beautiful heather that's sort of got an S shape to it that leads you into the scene. And I love the rocks on the right hand side, the texture on them rocks is absolutely beautiful. And uh, the clouds in the sky are really adding to it and complement it as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take this shot. I'll pop it on the screen for you. Um, I hope the sound's been okay today because it's been very windy up here, especially up uh, Stanage Edge. And I'd really appreciate it if you uh, put a thumbs up on my video uh, and subscribe and share the video. I'd really appreciate it. I'm just trying to build this channel um, and that'd be fantastic if you could do that for me. Um, so I hope to see you on the next one and it's goodbye from now.